Hi, I'm Tenley Harden, Education Director at Aspen Learning. I'm going to show you in this video some education games for sixth grade language arts. I love Jeopardy! So what I do with a lot of my students is divide them up into teams. Um, you can do four teams, three teams, but just basically several teams. And a great way to avoid competition when they're raising their hands for answers is to provide each team with a different mechanism to get your attention. You can use a whistle for one team, you can use a horn for another team, you can use a bell for another team, and you can even use those rattles, whatever you want. But usually my students will get really competitive and they'll say, my hand went up first. Give them something else and as soon as you hear that sound, obviously it goes to that team. So, here's a great Jeopardy game. I've divided up the categories into some really amazing um, ways to align your lessons with the standardized curriculum, the state curriculum. Fact versus opinion, literary terms, synonyms, antonyms, and of course, grammar. So if the team says, we would like literary terms for 200, the team gets the answer, and of course they have to come up with a question. The answer is, the wind howled and the rain sang. Hopefully the team will guess, that's right, personification. What is personification? Now if the team doesn't get the answer or they don't know what the answer is, then you can offer it to the other three teams, other two teams, and see who calls in first with their lovely sound machine. Now going back to home, you can go back and pick another one. Uh, antonyms, so if the antonym or the word, the vocab word is pursue and they get what is hide, they get it correct. If you want to know how to generate Jeopardy on a PowerPoint, it's really easy. There are several videos about that. I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm just going to talk about other games. So another game that I really like to do is catchphrase. And catchphrase is a fun way to help students uh, describe what's going on without using the actual words in the sentence. So catchphrase, you can create your own words, you can do it for vocabulary, so if they're describing a word to their team, um, if the word is um, arduous, right, they might kind of look bored or they might look tired, um, they might use other words to describe it, like this is long and difficult. Or they might use synonyms, um, they can even use antonyms and say, well, it's not this. Um, another thing you can do with catchphrase is literary terms. So if they're describing a metaphor, they can say, you know, the red balloon is a sound in the wind or something like that that could help your kids understand literary terms. And finally, I love to do riddles. So I do what's called the riddle challenge. Every week, my students can come in with a riddle. And by the end of the week, we have to figure it out. Riddles are a wonderful way to help those who have executive functioning issues and who need help with critical thinking. It also helps them write out the answers and articulate what they're saying, building fluency in reading as well. So you just watched a video about some various education games for sixth grade language arts. My name is Tenley Harden, Education Director at Aspen Learning. Happy learning and growing.